In this video, I'm going to show you how we at AJ and Smart run hybrid workshops, meaning some people are remote, some people are in person, but you still got to get it done. Now, this is not the ideal situation for running a workshop, but you still often have to do it. And we at AJ and Smart, we really, really often have to do that because we have clients in the US, we're based in Berlin, we've got employees all over the place. So this video is really about how to do that the best way possible, even though it's not the ideal situation. Now, the video clip you're about to see is from my private facilitation coaching group. It's part of Workshop or Master. It's something I'll talk about later. You don't need to know right now. But basically, a facilitator working at a company has asked me, how do I run the perfect hybrid workshop? And here's my answer. Let's go. Hello, Jonathan. Hi. Um, I have a, I'm looking for some advice on hybrid facilitation. Um, yeah. I am starting a three day team workshop on Thursday that was supposed to be in person, but with the travel saga, two people can't get in the country. So we've oh. decided to make it hybrid where everybody's going to use Miro. Um, and I've been to the campus today to just test out the tech. So I'm comfortable that, that, that they will hear me and the experience for the two people online will be okay but i'm just looking for some advice and some things that some disasters that might come that i've just not thought about yet because it's not an ideal way to deliver well we we are doing that a lot right now at the aj and smart office we have three people in one room uh but the client in the us and two people or three people from the client side and that's a very common setup what we just make sure is that everyone essentially is on a level playing field. So essentially everyone is on their laptop and everyone is using Miro. The disasters that are common um, are all related to audio. <laughs> it's it's the, the people in the hybrid setting who are in the same room. Um, you almost need to teach them muting etiquette because the feedback loops that will be caused by the audio of you sitting next to your colleague and talking when they're not muted will actually be the thing that slows down conversations a lot. So what we do is actually we have the in-person team sitting like kind of in a circle. Uh, one microphone, a Yeti mic, maybe it's too late to buy one, but if you can get one, uh, perfect. So one person is has the audio basically and everyone else is muted and when the other people are talking on zoom like this even though they're sitting next to each other they are always muted but their audio is coming through your computer essentially so that's one of the biggest things is just if you can just have one person who's responsible for the input of the audio on the side of the people who are in person um you're going to have to have more breaks than you think so that's just a big one like the people in person because they're just with other people might not notice that they're getting tired as easily because you just get energy from being around other people and it just feels like i don't know it just feels less tiring but the people who are hybrid are going to need more breaks um in general um i I would just tell every, it is important that everyone keeps their camera on because the people who are not in the room might just wander off and start playing with their phones. Um, and I would just like still set all of the rules that you would normally set in a workshop. Like, hey, if you need to check your phone, please leave the workshop. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else that usually goes wrong besides internet connection related things. That's really helpful. The breaks is something I haven't factored in. Um, and yeah, I thought that's really helpful. Thank you. Welcome back. Hopefully you found that useful. Now, if you did find that useful, and if you're a facilitator looking to up your game, you know, become the top 1% of facilitators in terms of skill and also day rate, I've created a one hour free training down below this video, which you can watch right now, which will teach you the top tips, the 516 method for becoming a top 1% facilitator. If you're not into facilitation at all, then don't bother clicking that video. Let me know in the comments if you are a facilitator, if you're interested in getting more videos like this, if you're interested in getting a sneak peek inside our communities, seeing me answering real people's questions. And thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. I love you all. See you later, bye.